the chore of the weekly wash. You might not know it, but in each load, your clothes release hundreds of thousands of tiny fabric fibres, many of which contain plastic. From the dirty washing water, they soon get into the environment, poisoning our waterways and the food chain. Substantial numbers of commercially important fish and shellfish are now contaminated with small pieces of plastic, including fibres. And actually, because those fibres won't degrade, unless we start to take action to reduce those inputs, we're only going to see more and more in the marine life. So these bigger bits of plastic that have washed up on this beach are clearly easy to spot. But what's worrying about the microfibers is you can't really see them. And so they're easier for animals to ingest. So we're going to take this sample back to the lab uh, to get a closer look at it. Under the microscope, the problem's clear. These samples contain suspected microfibers and will be sent off for further analysis. And here, more evidence, this time in both a seabird and a fish's stomach. Figures seen by Sky News show that around 190,000 tonnes of plastic from our clothes make their way into our oceans every year. That's the equivalent of 1,357 blue whales and significantly more than the 35,000 tonnes of plastic that comes from cosmetics. At this clothes recycling factory, Sophie Mather, who's worked in the industry for decades, tells me why she's taking action. She's carrying out research to introduce new technology which would change how textiles are actually produced. The fashion industry really needs to do a lot more about this. I mean, we're seeing these sorts of fabrics here. The fleece fabrics we know are really bad culprits. All of the fabrics really have an issue with fibres coming out. But it's these ones here that lose a lot every time you're washing them and we need to understand more about it. So we contacted 10 of Britain's top retailers. Even though all of them were aware of the microfibers issue, only one company, H&M, was actually doing anything about it. Research suggests it's older fabrics that shed the most microfibers. But without changes and support from retailers, experts warn that the problem will only get worse. Rebecca Williams, Sky News, Plymouth.